S S S S K Vibe Maker. S K Vibe Maker. My interviews are hotter. And you know what, man? I'm just so happy to have this guy here today, man. His name is Swindle, one of the most talented producers to come out of the UK game. And he's here, man. And we're talking. It's my pleasure, though, man. And I'm saying, it's good, it's good, you know what I'm saying? I feel like I always keep bugging you about this and we always talk about this in conversations. But if someone comes down from the moon today, Swindle, and they come across your music, what are some of the like sort of paragraphs that you would use to sort of describe what you do and what your sound is, man? Duh. <laughs> Maybe I came from the moon as well. <laughs> do you know what I'm saying? Maybe this thing came from out of space anyway. You know, I'm into like Afrofuturism. I'm into, I'm into George Clinton, the, the Mothership Connection. I'm, I'm into Missy Elliott, like uh, uh, Sunra. You know, you know, I feel like it'd be interesting to speak to someone from out of the planet because maybe we got more in common than I realize. Mm. You know, I always wonder like where did this just even come from? <laughs> Do you feel like you will go back to similar sounds to what you had? when you came out with those early projects like 140, the 140 project and the CV project, do you feel like you'll go back to that sort of grime kind of sound again? Because now your music is very more, you know, musical, jazz influenced. Some might say, you know, leaning towards more hip hop, funk, yeah. soul. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Uh, maybe. I, I just make music for like how I'm feeling like in, in the moment when i listen back to the 140 mixtape i hear myself trying to do what i do today does that make sense mm -hmm. it's just like as i've progressed and i've got the facility and the knowledge to be able to to lean on some of those production techniques from the music that i love the influence was always like funk you know it was that was always there even mm -hmm. even with the 140 but i maybe couldn't just pull it off in the way that i would have liked to mm -hmm. if that makes sense do you feel like back then like sort of those 07 08 times that you would be where you are at now are you ahead of where you wanted to be are you behind where you wanted to be or are you exactly where you thought you would be man that is tough i don't know i'm just following the path like and i trust in the path yeah, I don't know. That's a really hard one for me. I don't know. Are you not a strategizer, a planner, organization? Organization? What a word. Are you like someone who plots out where you kind of want to be in the forthcoming to, years? To a, to a point, but is but like the most thing is like it's it's, it's like a, a game of stamina, isn't it? It's like how long can I keep like giving this my all, mm -hmm. and and that's it. And just keep like you know, I pray, brother. That when I pray, I'll just be like, just give me guidance. Mm -hmm. And that's it. And I just crack on I, and I do what I feel. I don't want to be like, uh, like I know there's certain things I, I, I do want to achieve. I want to go to America. I want to make R&B in America at some point. Mm -hmm. um, I want to write for music uh, in film. Scores and that, yeah? Yeah, 100%. I'm trying to do the learning now to to give me the knowledge to be able to even do that well you know like mm -hmm. i look at people that are involved in film music now they're much mm -hmm. older than us mm -hmm. with different demographic i'm like mm -hmm. if i put the work in now then at 50 and 60 when i catch up to these guys then maybe i could be the person that does mm -hmm. that for he's movies the guy that's that famous he's the guy that's famous Hans for doing Zimmer. that Hans Zimmer. i right. just watched the june movie recently right. man and like he definitely done yeah. some epic it's incredible what they do that, and I, I just feel like especially as where black cinema is going at, mm -hmm. at the moment it would be amazing to see someone kind of at that table that comes from the culture do you know what i'm saying i, I don't see many people come from like underground music djing and whatever else end up like super producer like film scorer mm -hmm. do you know what i'm saying it's mm -hmm. like that's what I want to see happen. So that's the long term goal, I suppose. Mm -hmm. But I don't put like a time and date on it. You know, mm. I just work towards it every day. I think it's pretty obvious to see that like Swindle was definitely a geek when it comes to music. And I think most <laughs> producers are. We yeah. was kind of kind of talking off mic about you know the recent piece of equipment that you bought. Yeah, and then yeah. You're saying that you don't really like buying equipment, but you got to buy it. It's an investment, and they sometimes they are very good investments. Yeah, I, I said I got a problem with buying it, and that what I mean is I can't stop. Mm, okay, you, you okay, know, okay. You yeah. buy a lot of stuff. Yeah, man. Mm. Yeah, man. What was the last piece of gear that you bought, man? I, I bought a piece. Oh, well, sorry. So let's not say gear. What's the last piece <laughs> of um, <laughs> kit that you bought, man? 
I bought uh, a Pionet, which is like a small, it's almost like a Wurlitzer, like a 70s. you got to break that down. It's, it's like a 70s, 70s keyboard, you know, like, all right, when you're using software and you go to EP, it's the real one of that. Because <laughs> you, know you play a lot of stuff, though. You know uh, yeah, saying? I play around a lot of instruments, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know. Uh, I like live sound and stuff. I like, if you know, rather than using a software synth, I'll use a keyboard synth. Mm. Rather than use a, a plug-in piano, I'll use a real piano. And that's something that I think is there for everyone to hear in your music that it's a lot of live instrumentation, like it's been played. Like you don't sample much, do you? I don't sample anything. Mm. What's the reason for that? Is that because you don't want to pay for it or you just don't <laughs> like how it sounds? Uh, I just want to like, I just want to contribute new music. I definitely like nod to stuff. I'll mm -hmm. hear music and be like, you know, I like how that's been done. I can imp implement that into something new. Do you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I can take uh, a classic chord progression that we hear in gospel and R&B and use it for drum and bass or for hip hop mm -hmm. or whatever. Mm -hmm. That's more like what I'm- What you're on. into. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to contribute. Like I'm not trying to, you know, rework with someone else's work. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to do the old thing the new way. I listen to samples and I appreciate the original music. Mm -hmm. I don't want to, I don't want to sample it. I want to match it. <laughs> yeah, for real. So even though like you're definitely a lab rat producing all the time, buying bare equipment, working mm. with loads of artists, going away to stay with the artists, so you all work together, your albums are very concise with the amount of tracks that are on them. Yeah. I feel like the last album only had like 10, 11 tracks. Yeah. And this album, The New World, has only got like nine tracks. Yeah, yeah, now, yeah. is there loads of music that you leave on the cutting room for, floor or do you specifically aim to make like a concise amount of tracks? Like... A few, there's a few things a lot hits the floor like I don't know yesterday I made beat 368 <laughs> do you know what I mean and that's since like maybe no more normal so out of that 368 maybe 20 are coming out right now mm -hmm. between like my album Koji's album or whatever else I've been working mm -hmm. on uh, so I write a lot a lot a lot a lot a lot and just put out the best but the reason that this album is nine tracks is because that's the nine tracks we made in that week. Mm -hmm. We made more tracks, but mm -hmm. those are the most collaborative and the, the finished songs. Mm -hmm. so, so adding to that after that week felt like a lie. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? This is like really an honest look at that time we spent, you know, like I hope that this will never happen again in the same way that we'll all be locked down and isolated and, you know, feeling like shit or whatever else was going on in in that mm -hmm. in that time. So it really took a global pandemic for that album to happen, even mm -hmm. for everyone to be available mm -hmm. to even do it. Mm -hmm. So the nine songs is, is what happened. Does that make In sense? the week that you went away. Yeah, yeah, and all yeah. Stayed together. It's just honest. Was that the plan though? Was that the plan to always gather all the artists together, go away and stay somewhere resolute or somewhere like, is resolute a word or somewhere that is just out there, not amongst I, civilization? I sent a text, Was that the plan? I sent a text to the artist and it said, it's been a tough time. Let's get away. We'll have a musical retreat and figure out how we enter the new world. And that's why the okay, album's called okay. The New World. How we enter the new world. Do you feel like we're in a new world now? Yeah, totally, man. Like, there's no more normal anyway. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, whatever was going on before is, is done. Like, you know, post-pandemic, post-Black Lives Matter, just post-lockdown. Mm -hmm. Like, this isn't this isn't the world that we, we left in 2019. It's just not. All right. So like no black, no Irish feature Maverick Sabre and yeah. Joel Cole Pepper. Now, the line that says um, there are all these signs across the wall can't get over it. No black, no Irish. A lot of people know that there were those signs that were all around the place in yesteryears. I feel like yeah. what, maybe 40s, 50s, 60s in the UK. Yeah. Um, if you see the title of this song, you might feel like it might sound a bit different to when you actually hear the song. Yeah. The song's not like a an abrasive song no. or like a all in your face song. This is a very mellow song. Yeah. Was that something that was on purpose? Uh yeah or no. I guess like like that that song was birthed from another one of these conversations I was telling you about, you know. This is June 2020. Like it just kicked off, you know. Like one 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 day we're w watching a man get murdered on screen. Next day we're watching like skinheads running around England, like in central London. Do you remember that day? The hooligans and all yeah, that. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I hadn't seen stuff like that since I was a boy. 
it just brought back a lot of stuff for all of us. And I guess in that week, like a conversation between Joel and and Mav led to that song, you know, Joel like speaking to his pain, do you know what I'm saying? And 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 Mav like listening to him. Mm-hmm. Like a true gent, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Especially in a time where people are just like falling out with their best friends over this shit. Do you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And not able to find common ground and, and have, you know, productive conversation because not everybody did want to. Mm-hmm. Um, but kind of being witness to to, to, to that, mm. it, 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 like the, the byproduct of that, of that conversation really is that no black, no Irish. Mm. Crazy, man. You know what I'm saying? Was this a challenging song to put together. You know what I'm saying? You got these two artists that I feel like they hold this close to them through their experience and mm. maybe their parents' experience. Mm. Was it easy for the, them to, to record this song? What you experienced in the studio? Yeah, I think that, like, this is real stuff. Do you know what I'm saying? It's like, okay, No no Black, No Irish is is something from a bit before... Mm-hmm. our experiences mm-hmm. but we do have our experiences with mm-hmm. racism mm-hmm. you know that aren't 30 or 40 years old mm-hmm. that happened yesterday or last year or when we was kids the echoes and reverberations right. are still here man right so it's not hard to mm. to tap into that to tap into that especially in a year like 2020 when it was at the front of everything it was a mazzaline do you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. so um just wanted to get it right and it's subtle you, do you know what i'm saying it's like in, in i don't want to add too much i wanted mm-hmm. the message to be to be clear it's mm. like sometimes the most important thing as i could do as a producer is leave space mm-hmm. that's something i've definitely learned as as i've grown older is like you, you it doesn't need a hundred elements it needs like four good ones and you're good mm-hmm. do you know what i'm saying let the song be the song and and be clear and get the intent over because that's the most important thing is the messaging you know mm. talk to me about your relationship with koji radical because he's definitely an artist that you work very closely with yeah. man yeah. how did this begin and what is it like when you are in the studio man he, do you tussle a... and fight a lot <laughs> nah, 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 nah. Um, does he tell you i want to exactly like this i nah, want you to build nah. the beat does he direct you nah 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 like does he bully you nah <laughs> Co- coach bruv you can't bully me bruv. <laughs> he knows that anyway i think that like he's been a blessing to me uh, you know i i met him as i was recording no more normal we met in russia at a show mm-hmm. and we just like instantly kind of had this chemistry in the studio mm-hmm. the first day we kind of met in the studio after our first meeting in Russia, first day in the studio, we made water and coming home back to back. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, we don't fight creatively really at, at all. We both know what, what what we're going in for. We both want what's what's best for the music. Mm-hmm. And and he's someone again. He he writes music for the for the, for the best reason. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? For the only reason that I think people should write music for, and and that's like. Uh, just pure um what's the word i'm looking for expression Mm -hmm. do you know what i'm saying like koji radical is a pure artist Mm -hmm. so it's a pleasure to work with him do you Mm -hmm. know what i'm saying and i I think we see we see ourselves a little bit in each other Mm -hmm. do you know what i mean Mm -hmm. like you'll remember purple of course i will man okay when i first started working with purple those those years ago right come back purple man yeah well like he was that person for me he was like he talks to the things that i care about Mm -hmm. you know he's carrying himself in in a different way Mm -hmm. and you know the game was in a completely different state at that point and Mm. it's amazing to see koji now have the space to Mm. to do what he's doing Mm. do you know what i'm saying Mm -hmm. it's like i can i can see that he doesn't have to go through some of the things that maybe we went through Mm -hmm. in in that in that time you know Mm -hmm. he can slot straight in you know, it, I mean, there's still a graph there, but... Um, but the game's still a bit, it's more open it's now. It's open to him. He can have yeah. a, a platform. He can build up his own audience. Mm-hmm. He can contribute music that he loves mm-hmm. and be a successful artist. And that, to me, is just like, that's a blessing, man. I mean, when you think about that fourth album, 
Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Fourth album. You know what I'm saying? With all of these songs that you've put together, all of these numbers you've done. I know you're not really into the business and the numbers, but the way your music has been received and the way that I feel like it's inspirational for people to do something different yeah. out of the scope of like the regular thing that people go with, the regular ways, man. How do you how do you feel about the impact that your music has made? Uh, it depends what day you, are, you ask. <laughs> like I'm thankful for it all. And none of this was promised to me. Mm. Do you understand what I'm saying? Mm. It's like a lot of people from my past wouldn't believe that I'm here. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'm a success where I'm from. Mm. But there's still like stones unturned as well. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? I, I don't feel like accomplished yet. Mm. It's like it's, I'm on the journey in it. So I feel like you've been a very focused person though, man. I don't feel like, um, not to say that you need to go into much of your background life like that. I don't feel like you was on the roads. Like, you know what I'm saying? Other people would say, I was on the roads, man. I had to do all of this before I got to, you know what I'm saying, be in a place to get creative and that, man. I don't know how far you went well, academically like, or anything like that. Well, I was kicked out of school. <laughs> do you know what I'm saying? For a start. Like, I don't, I don't have, know why I'm laughing <coughs> at you getting kicked out of yeah, school. Yeah, I don't have an, I don't have an education. I don't really hold down jobs. Do you know what I'm saying? I had my encounters. But I was lucky that, you know, the people around me who were on the road recognize what was going on with, with my first mixtape mm -hmm. and were like you can do this but don't do that mm -hmm. do you understand what i'm saying to you mm -hmm. like you have this problem we'll take care of it for you do you know what i'm saying so i've been very fortunate in 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 that way mm -hmm. if that if that makes sense mm -hmm. but you know i like i i, st I know hardship you know mm -hmm. and when you come out of school with no education and you know everything's a mess I've had friends that have died you know what I'm saying mm. and, and all this kind of stuff and dealing with like problems on the road with racists you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. that was a big thing for me as as a teenager and it's like to get here now to mm. have this life I've I consider myself privileged now do you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying I own my home like, I'm bringing my kids up in the country like mm -hmm. do you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. Blessings. This, yeah, like, and it only feels like a minute ago that, you know, the school was saying, you know, this kid's a problem child, we need him out. <laughs> so, mm, time has flown. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. I want to push you on this a bit, man. Like, um, I know that you said you, you enjoy drill and you enjoy the drum patterns and stuff. Mm. And it wouldn't surprise me because I've seen many crazy things happen in this music industry and the way that, like, artists and producers have become chameleons. Yeah. What are the chances of swindle making drill in the near future like if one drill yeah but if if an if a drill artist says <laughs> like like what you do and i want to work then that will be the day that it happens oh for real 100 percent. like but am i gonna go like uh i need to make a drill song with like all the same sounds that i know mm -hmm. are associated with drill like, that's probably not gonna happen mm -hmm. if i do it it will be in, in my way but I'm not close to anything creatively. Like, mm. you know, I'm down for, I am actually down for whatever. The only thing I'm not down for is copying what is happening mm -hmm. right now that someone else is. Because mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not 19 either. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I, I need to make music that is true to where I'm at in my life. Not to sort of break it down too deeply in that, but... I'm not a producer. Mm. Other producers that I've spoken to have said that when it comes to drill, it's quite easy to make um, and there's a lot of repetition involved. What's your take on it, man? You can say that about anything. People said that about James Brown. I've not heard no one say that about okay, James Brown. Okay, people said that about James Brown. In the time that James Brown's making music, mm. people are, you know, Stevie Wonder's made songs in the key of life of, mm -hmm. of you know all these amazing chord progressions and mm -hmm. key changes mm -hmm. and then james brown says play the same beat for three minutes give me the same guitar <laughs> lick for three minutes give me the same bass line that's a bar long for three minutes mm -hmm. and not everyone understood it but he's a pioneer and mm -hmm. you know one of the, the most important contributors to music in the last hundred years so you compare in uk drill to james brown in a way because no james brown no hip-hop no hip-hop no no mm -hmm. drill mm -hmm. so same with dance music is repetitions like mm -hmm. people say oh you know drills were the same like if you listen to techno and you tell me the drills were the same then i've got a problem because mm -hmm. ain't nothing more loopy than than techno <laughs> you know what i'm, up, you know I'm saying so up, it's up. like i'm not i'm not even scared of a loop i would contribute something different but i, I just feel like 
you see when people have got a vibe and they run with it and it works and mm. people appreciate it like I think I just think that should be encouraged mm -hmm. and you can build outwards from that loop or you know the same sounds I would mm. encourage that I won't put anyone down for what they're doing now mm -hmm. does that mm -hmm. make sense real talk even when it's not for me mm -hmm. straight up like, we didn't actually focus on it but blow your trumpet yeah Let's just focus on the lineup on this, man. Nuts, yeah. Gets, Akala, and Koji Radical. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, aside from the fact that you work very closely with um, Koji Radical yeah. and Gets, yeah. you know what I'm saying? To get Nuts on this as well, yeah. obviously, I mean, that's sick. But you got Akala on there, man. Yeah, yeah. Talk to me about actually building this lineup right here. Oh, uh, mate. It, I just, I feel blessed. Like, when you say, when you read it back to me, it's mm. just like, I know that this is a moment. Like, I know that this is a moment. I'd connected with Akala just before um, lockdown, mm -hmm. you know, and he would come check me at my studio and stuff. And we were just kind of building our relationship as the pandemic came and ripped everything apart. So mm. I invited him down to, 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 to the same week. Nux, I've had a relationship for some time. He was on No More Normal. We've worked together on other stuff. And yeah, I remember pressing play on this beat, like Gets walked in and I was like, mm. bro, I've got something to show you. <laughs> West played and he's just there like doing what he does <laughs> <laughs> and I just I looking in this room Green Tea Peng was there the same day actually the same day we did What More and um, like when I see when I see Nux gets a Carla I, I, like, I'm seeing generational greatness bro. yeah superheroes of this lyricism and this artistry like, right here i'm i'm seeing brothers that's what i'm seeing i'm seeing like mm -hmm. nux is like prince like future king do you know what i'm mm -hmm. saying gets is is theirs yeah, like, yeah the og do you know what i'm saying and then, the the, and then the, and yeah. then yeah koji in the middle right a koji koji in the context of the album he's like the messenger who who br is bridging the gap between blow your trumpet and darkest hour they're next mm -hmm. to each other on the album mm -hmm. Koji instantly when he heard the beat was like I love that bit you know because the music kind of changes around him mm -hmm. um, I knew it was important to have those on on a track like get said to me oh I've got a sore throat shall I come and do this tomorrow <laughs> <It's> like <laughs> no <laughs> you need to stay and, and do it because mm -hmm. this is this is important and then I was like like Nux's verse needs to be at the beginning mm -hmm. do you know that it was very like I wanted him to open mm -hmm. that it's almost like Nux opens let me get my big brother let me get my brother. Straight, straight, Do you know straight, straight, straight. Because, like, passing knowledge and facility and, and just game to the generations below you needs to be something that we're all doing. Mm -hmm. There needs to be a connection. Like, mm -hmm. I feel like, you know, Nux needs to have conversations with 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 Akala for yeah, the yeah. greater good of all of us. Mm. Do, you Do you know what I'm saying? To be able to move forward. There's a lot of game there, man, to be passed on. A hundred percent. So, And I try and do that with, you know, like younger musicians, younger producers, because I know that I wouldn't be here if people didn't do that for me. Mm -hmm. Do you understand what I'm saying? And who would you say did that for you? Oh, man. Who was the one? Who were some of the, those vital... A few people, you know, like Nikki S and Nike. Yeah, yeah. I met Nike in Liquid in Sutton, mm -hmm. random. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That used to be the Friday night spot. Damn. And he was like, boom, I got a studio for you. It was Danny C studio. That's where I met Get Snowle, all these people that mm -hmm. was on the 140 mixtape. Mm -hmm. Danny C did that for me. Mm -hmm. Mala did that for me. Mm -hmm. um, you know, there's been so many people uh, uh, along the way that- oh, Big up Danny C though, man. A hundred percent. That along the way have gone, look, little bro it's done like this mm -hmm. do you know what I mean there's space for you you can just to, even if it's just words of encouragement mm -hmm. or show me you know what like Asha D Ashley Waters did mm -hmm. that for me mm -hmm. like him and, and and Richard Parks like set up my PRS for me mm -hmm. I made my first thousand pound in music with Ash mm -hmm. producing his song with Mutia do you know what I'm saying Straight up. that gave me the, the confidence to quit my job so I want to do that for other people now. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? And I just feel like I, we should all just be doing that for each other. S -S 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 SK Vibe Maker.